Yesterday, oh boy, was it another scorcher under that relentless alien sun. I swear, even the rocks were sweating. Later on, we got a bit of a break with a thunderstorm. It felt like the universe decided to take a shower and freshen up. My name is Kron, and I'm a military observer assigned to study human military forces and evaluate their battle efficiency. I strolled over to Battalion HQ for some juicy updates. And guess what? Five divisions of those slimy enemy forces managed to slither through our southern defenses near Outpost Delta. General Larry rallied the troops and shut down their little invasion party. Honestly, it's not his first rodeo. The guy deserves a medal or ten. Now, the 1st Battalion, backed up by a couple of companies, is gearing up to throw down with those extraterrestrial troublemakers. According to our Earth's calendar, we're in for at least eight cycles of this intergalactic showdown. As usual, I found myself trudging along our front lines, patching up my uniform like a spacefaring quilt maker. Seriously, if this war drags on any longer, I'll be rocking the latest fashion trend, patch pants. Even in the dead of night, with darkness swallowing everything whole, there's a strange calmness in the air. Maybe too calm, if you catch my drift. Now, during one of our tactical escapades, the 1st Battalion stumbled upon some stubborn resistance from the enemy forcing us to make a strategic retreat before nightfall. Talk about a buzz kill. And just when I was about to catch some Zs, the big boss man himself, our regimental commander, pays me a visit. After a quick chat, he hands me this fancy, honorable list of the Allied forces. Yeah, I'll be sure to FedEx that back to my home planet. Can't have awards cluttering up the place during a war, right? Day by day, we're inching closer to enemy settlement, like a cosmic game of chess. Tomorrow, we're set to launch an offensive on enemy outpost, which means we'll be packing up our space tents and moving out in a jiffy. The weather? Gloomy and windless, just how I like it. Oh, did I mention I caught a cold? Yeah, evidently driving about in a human roofless vehicle was not a good idea, but humans enjoyed it and took me for a ride. Now let's talk about human soldiers, fearless I swear, they've got bravery in spades, but brains, not so much. I've lost count of how many times I've had to lay down the law because someone decided slacking off on guard duty was a good idea. I mean, come on. Do you want to be an alien creature's food or another war casualty because you were careless? So there I was, taking a ride to the division to check out some court-martial action. The highlight? The scenic 50 clicks drive through this planet's countryside. Nothing like dodging potholes the size of asteroids to get my blue blood pumping. And let's not forget the joy of inspecting guard posts at night, Sleep is but a distant dream for me. Who needs it when you're busy playing space babysitter to a bunch of reckless recruits? I've had to crack the whip more times than I can count, thanks to sentries catching some shut eye on the job or non-commissioned officers making a mess of things. They may be a bit green, but they've got potential. Maybe I'll even recommend them for a most improved award once this whole thing blows over. Oh, and speaking of blowing over, our and human troops just rolled up to the south and west of Delta Outpost, ready to rain plasma on our enemies. And let me tell you, we've got a surprise waiting for those little Zargon soldiers, 32,000 strategically placed mines between them and us. Kaboom, baby! Fresh blood joined our ranks yesterday. A mix of eager younglings and one grizzled non-commissioned officer. The youngest? Just a wee 17 cycles old according to Earth time. It's like herding space cats, but we'll whip them into shape. After all, they've got a lot to learn about fighting enemy and navigating this alien landscape. And wouldn't you know it, we've got a couple of troublemakers in our midst. Two soldiers decided to take a stroll away from their guard posts and catch some Zs. Can you imagine if the enemy forces had shown up? 
let's just say court martial is on the menu for these two. Then, just to add some spice to our war adventure, we had a little rendezvous with the 7th Company for a quick sortie. A bit of back and forth with the enemy, a few huts to search, and bam, mission accomplished. But not without some good old-fashioned resistance, of course. So, Tuesday was a snooze fest, filled with grenade-throwing drills and paperwork. But Wednesday? Oh, Wednesday was court-martial day. Two soldiers found themselves in hot water, one with a one-way ticket to hard labor and the other to a cozy cell. Talk about a plot twist. But it's not all doom and gloom. Turns out there's a movie night in the division, rain or shine. And speaking of rain, it's been pouring buckets lately, turning our roads into mud-wrestling arenas. But we are soldiers, rain or shine, mud or no mud. And as the sun sets on another day on this distant planet, I find myself longing for home. But for now, it's back to the grind, back to the front lines, back to fighting our enemies with a smile on my face and a patch on my pants.